So how do hormones hormones affect behavior? How do hormones affect behavior? Okay. Well, that's a big question. I know. Uh, in humans, I presume you. I mean, you know what? We don't really know how. Look, obviously they affect sexual behavior, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but we we don't even know how much they affect sexual behavior in humans. Remember, we, we talked about this in Psych 218. They obviously affect the uh, behavior of animals. Mm -hmm. uh, but human sexuality, human libido, if you want, is not so closely tied to hormones as it is in animals. Okay? Uh, now, there's some evidence, for instance, that test testosterone uh, affects uh, male sexual behavior in humans. Uh, but it's not tightly linked. That is, uh, men who have been castrated, for instance, often maintain uh, sexual performance and libido for fairly long periods of time. Uh, and in some cases, it's uh, a drastic reduction. In other cases, it's not a very drastic reduction. Uh, estrogen, uh, again, we talk, remember we talked about that in, in our uh, Psych 218 course, seems to have little effect on uh, female sexual behavior. If anything, maybe testosterone has some effect on female sexual behavior, libido, if you want. Why is there such a big difference between animal and human models? Evolution. <laughs> People have suggested, you know, that uh, uh, we've become relatively freer from our hormones than uh, lower animals. And it seems to be evolutionary. That is, uh, 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 Hormones seem to play less of a specific role, say, in higher primates as well, you know. And experience seems to take over, in a sense, as an important uh, role. Do testosterone and estrogen affect the brain? Are you testing me or am I testing you? I'm testing you. <laughs> of course they affect the brain. How? Uh, there are receptors in the brain for uh, the brain can be thought of as a target organ for these hormones. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, as a target organ for these hormones. Uh, and first of all, uh, uh, it's part of a feedback system for regulating the levels of hormones, and it seems to affect behavior in a variety of ways. In animals, we don't quite for sure. In humans, of course, we can't do the kind of experiments we do in animals, so we don't know quite how they affect uh, the brain in humans, and especially how it uh, affects behavior. How do you think sex hormones affect gender versus sexuality? That's a good question. <laughs> Next question. That's uh, cheating. <laughs> uh, when you say when you say when you say how do they affect gender? Mm -hmm. uh, the first question: What the heck do we mean by gender? Uh, I mean. Uh, gender can be based upon our genetics, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and of course, hormones have no effect uh, on gender. Uh, gender identity, and maybe if that's what you're thinking of, okay, uh, as separate from uh, 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 genetic gender, uh, uh, may be affected by hormones. Uh, some people have th suggested that maybe gender identity uh, and sexual orientation, for that matter, uh, may be uh, related to uh, uh, circ embryo embryonic circulating hormones. But again, you know, because humans are so complex in a sense, uh, we simply don't know for sure how these affect. Uh, there's some evidence, you know, that, uh, uh, that gender identity may be related to circulating hormones uh, in utero. So how does that work? What hormones are circulating? Uh, oh, lots of hormones are circulating. Uh, certainly estrogens are circulating. Uh, androgens are circulating. Uh, uh, and the, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, more estrogens in females, more androgens in males, presumably. Uh, but uh, uh, when, you, when you look at experiments that have looked at that, the data aren't particularly clear. Uh, you may remember when we talked in our uh, 218 course, uh, we talked about uh, congenital uh, adrenal hyperplasia, which in female uh, embryos, uh, there's an excess of testosterone. Uh, there's evidence that 
uh, there is some increase, for instance, in homosexuality in, uh, in adulthood in, in uh, females that have been, who have uh, CAH, uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Uh, but it's not a very tight relationship, okay? There's some evidence, but uh, there's not a tight relationship. We can't say there's a definite causal effect between testosterone and gender identity or sexual orientation. Uh, that's the human for you. <laughs> We're tough. That's why I work with rats. <laughs> <laughs> Is there research being done now, or will there be research done in the near future on kind of rewiring the brain in the interest of changing or manipulating sexuality? <sighs> that's uh, another good question. Uh, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, when does, no, I mean, it, it's hard to predict where future technology is going to take us uh, in these directions. Um, uh, I mean, uh, you're talking, of course, about sexuality now, but you can talk about every aspect of human behavior. Can we rewire the brain to uh, alter uh, aspects of human behavior? Uh, sexuality is just one of them, mm -hmm. and uh, it is a very slippery slope. I, I'm not, you know. I'm not sure I would uh, be very happy about that happening, but who knows, you know, uh, it may occur. What areas of the brain or hormones do you think that people would focus on if they were going to try to do that? That assumes we know a lot about the areas of the brain related to sex differences. Which we don't. We know some. I mean, we know the hypothalamus is related to sex differences and sex hormones and, and differences and things like that. But when you talk about uh, broader aspects of behavior, uh, the, the question, for instance, are men and women cognitively different? Okay, that's a, as you know, is a highly controversial area. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, when it comes to that, we wouldn't know where to begin <laughs> to look at places where you might rewire if you want to uh, uh, determine that. I mean, there have been suggestions made. Um, the corpus callosum has been one suggestion that has been made that seems to be, people have argued is different in men and women, uh, some aspects of that. Uh, the, uh, 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 the consequences of that are, are not so clear, you know, how, how you interpret uh, um, uh, some of these brain differences. Is it, is it for instance, as, as is often the case, to the detriment of women? when you say there are brain differences. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll often suggest a deficit in women compared to men. You know, uh, uh, you remember the Larry Summers thing in, at Harvard? Yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, by the way, I think he was, uh, that was an overreaction to what he said. Uh, there is a controversy in the, uh, uh, in the literature about it. Uh, 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 but, um, Having said that, I hope I don't suffer the same fate. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Bryn Mars were tough. Yeah. But, uh, no, seriously, there is a controversy, and it ought to be tackled uh, as, as a controversy in some ways. Uh, but part of the controversy is we know so little, mm -hmm. in a sense, about these things. Again, the human being, what a human is. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's it? That's it. Okay. <laughs>